I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. The media said what? <laughs> Expose it all. Expose it all, Lord. The media said Joe Biden's president. Ha 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 ha. Let there be that we would strike the ground for you will give us victory, God. Ha 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 ha. And strike and strike and strike and strike. Ha 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 ha. And strike until you have victory for every enemy that is aligned against you. Ha 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 ha. Strike and strike and strike and strike and strike. Ha 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 ha. I hear a sound of abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I ask, oh God, that you would take your iron rod and I ask that you would smash the clay jar of deceit in America. And Lord, if it be your will and if it be necessary, another election, another voting day, whatever it takes under your kingdom, oh God. Smash the delusion, Father of Joe Biden is our president. He is not. The Lord says it is done. The Lord says it is done. Bring it all in line. Bring it all in line with the will of God. Why are you attacking the prophets, the, the, the intercessors, the Christians, the positive voices, no matter who they are, even on the media, that are wanting to see Donald Trump reelected? Why are you attacking them? Could our faith be strong enough to pray for these two individuals that are at the helm of a, what appears to us to be a great pattern of deceit? You ought to be attacking the lying media. You ought to be attacking the liars that are wanting to strip our freedoms from this nation. Certainly of ideology that is anti-Christ, anti-biblical to its core. And if you think he's speaking in favor of the one that CNN celebrates, if you think he's speaking in alignment with the wicked of this world, if that's where you think God's voice is, then you don't know it. Let me tell you something. Every Christian, every pastor out there that voted for Joe Biden last night, you have bought a curse upon yourself and your family, your children and your children's children down to the third and fourth generation, and you need to repent. We humble ourselves tonight, Lord God. We ask you in Jesus' name, Father, that you'd forgive us as a people. They're coming here. They're coming here in the name of Jesus from South America. Almighty oh God, please. From Africa, from South America, angelic forces, angelic reinforcement. God, you are pro life. Would you be pro life for us, Jesus? We've played when we should have been praying. Thank <laughs> you.